whole life insurance. What is whole life insurance? Whole life insurance, like all the other types of life insurance, is a contract obligating the insurance company to cover the financial risk of you dying too soon. But whole life insurance is much more than that. I will go into all that in this video, but first, aloha. I'm Stan Cox, principal broker and strategist with SC Finance Strategies and Insurance Consultants. I'm also the author of the books on the Tax-Free Cash Growth Warehouse Strategy, and I'm the managing director of the Hawaii Financial Free Thinkers Academy, a nonprofit financial literacy education organization. If you find this to be helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, please post your questions and comments here. Whole life insurance is the big daddy of life insurance. It's actually the offspring of the original merchant's assurance contracts from way back in the beginning of the United States. Those were contracts to take on the risk of a merchant shipment of goods in the event that they were lost at sea. Associations of merchants formed and soon decided to include contracts that would take on the risk of the merchant dying, not just the loss of merchandise, and would provide a financial benefit to the surviving family. Then those contracts were eventually extended to include family members. And that's the short version of how whole life insurance came to be. The companies that provided these life insurance policies were mutually owned by the merchant members and family members who were policy owners. That resulted in additional benefits being added to these contracts or policies. Fast forward to today, and most life insurance companies are no longer mutual companies, but have become stock companies owned by stockholders. There are still relatively few mutual insurance uh, companies, and that distinction does make a difference in the benefits offered. Not a whole lot of differences, but I will mention them as I explain things. Some of them are rather important. Whole life is designed to ensure a person's life for as long as they live, their whole life. In many cases, the premiums paid for the insurance continue as long as the insured person lives. But in many cases, depending on the design and the options exercised, the premiums stop well before the life of the insured ends. For example, there are policies designed for premiums to be paid for only 10, 15, or 20 years or until the insured reaches age 65, et cetera. But the premiums for the policy never increase. They may decrease or stop completely, but they will never increase. That's a good thing. Of course, as with all other types of life insurance, with the exception of guaranteed issue, one must qualify to be insured. Qualifications include age, health condition, and ability to pay. Most insurance companies will issue life policies on newborns all the way up to age 82. Some will issue policies on older adults up to age 85. You may wonder, how does a newborn or infant qualify as to ability to pay? Good question. For clarity, the owner of a policy has to qualify with the ability to pay as the owner and payer of a policy. And in the case where the owner is not the insured, the owner can also be older than what would qualify for the insured. Most people can qualify as far as health condition, but there are a few exceptions or conditions that will prevent a person from qualifying. For example, having a terminal illness, but even if a person is in poor health, they may qualify with a substandard rating. Substandard ratings will carry a higher premium for a given death benefit than a standard or preferred rating. Whole life insurance is a bona fide asset. Whole life contains a savings component that is guaranteed to earn a minimum annual interest rate, which is compounding and grows tax deferred. 
The minimum guaranteed interest rate is determined by the provider and it is declared within the terms of the contract. Mutual companies offer participating whole life policies and these also receive dividends in addition to the guaranteed minimum annual compounding interest. That is referred to as dividend interest. And historically, the dividend interest paid to whole life insurance policies is typically higher than what can be earned with any other type of savings account. Standard whole life with stock companies have a guaranteed death benefit that stays the same throughout the life of the policy. But with mutual companies, the participating whole life policies typically grow each year as the dividends earned actually buy additional whole life insurance. While at the same time, those dividends contribute to the growing cash value of the policy. So mutual companies participating policies, the cash value grows with interest plus dividends and the death benefit grows without ever increasing the premiums. The death benefits of all in life insurance policies is paid to the beneficiaries, in most cases, tax-free. Pretty cool, huh? While I'm on the topic of increasing death benefit, whole life insurance also has an option to buy additional whole life to be added to the policy by means of an additional to the policy called a paid up additions writer. Typically, this is added at the start of the policy, but in some cases may be added after the policy is issued. The coolest part about this paid up additions rider is that the premium paid for that rider not only buys additional death benefit without increasing the ongoing premiums, but it also contributes to the cash value of the policy. Most companies also offer other options that can be added to the policy as part of the policy design. These include various term riders, which increase the total death benefit at a lower cost than whole life, as well as increasing the MEC limit. And we have a whole separate video here that explains MEC limits and how that affects a life insurance policy. But it's really only important to know if you are working to build up the cash value of a policy to the maximum amount. Another addition, common addition to a is to a whole life policy is a long term care writer. It is much more cost of effect cost effective to add a long term care writer to a whole life policy than to purchase a separate long term care insurance policy. And as for the cash value of whole life, the fact that it grows with truly high compounding interest, tax deferred, and you can leverage it with a very low interest policy loan, and the repayment terms are super flexible, makes the cash value, especially participating whole life, the, whole, the one source of funding that makes infinite banking the most powerful finance strategy in history. There is so much to share about whole life and infinite banking. I have dedicated this entire YouTube channel to do just that. For now, suffice to say that there is a way to design a whole life policy with a combination of writers that makes a whole life policy an absolute perpetual money machine. For now, I hope this information helps you to understand what whole life insurance is and how it works. So if you found this to be helpful, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also please post your questions and comments here. You have questions, we have answers. For a complete explanation of the tax-free cash growth warehouse strategy, you can watch our free 60-minute webinar. The link is in the description box right below in the video here. The link to buy my books on amazon.com is also below. And if you'd like to book a free phone consultation with me, the link to my Calendly page is below. If you'd like to apply to become a client of ours, the link to the application is also below. We're here to help. We look forward to helping you.
So for now, aloha and mahalo for watching.